Hello guys, we will solve P3. Uh, okay, so first of all, I will draw the diagram. Yes, so we have isosceles triangle. So, so D will be actually the midpoint of PC. Then we will draw OHG some way. And because it's isosceles triangle, they all will lie on the same line. So suppose O is here, uh, G is here, and H is here. Now, because we will because of this ratio, we will assume OD equal to 23x and HD equal to 2x. And because like uh, it's well known that uh, AH is equal to two times of OD. This is like you can just see in a like normal triangle if you have H here and O here, then this is like two times of uh, this length. So because of that, we get AH is actually equal to two times of OD, uh, which is a uh, 26x. Now, because, uh, yeah, and also the thing, because this is 2x and this is 23x, this whole segment will be 21x. And we also know that like OG by GH is equal to actually one by two. So we divide that in that ratio and we get this is, uh, 7x and 14x and uh, also like ah given minus like this minus uh, we do oh will give us uh, uh, ao equal to 25x you can do calculation that, that's like simple that. so now what we like convert all ratio in terms of x the key point to prove g line in circle is we have to somehow introduce the in center so suppose if you suppose this is in center i then you somehow have to prove some ratio with i and d. So one way to do that is like, you remember there's nice property with like the a midpoint of r pc. So suppose you extend this line and let it meet at n. Then now you can see like, we can calculate the ratio in terms of like l, right? So first of all, you can use like calculate ad by two ways. So first is like because H reflect H is auto center, reflection of H will lie on the circumcircle of ABC. So that'll that give us directly uh, L equal to 2x. Or other ways, because OH equal to 25x, we get OL also 25x, and you subtract this uh, 23x and we get this is 2x in normal way. Now, because uh, O lie on like AL, we get this is like L is the antipode of A. So therefore, angle A, B, L will be 90. And this will actually give us angle L, uh, triangle LBA similar to triangle uh, LDB. Yes. And this ratio actually gives us the key uh, length condition that LB square equal to LD into LA. Now we know LD equal to 2x and LA you can calculate uh, it's like 50x and which to like totally give us LB equal to 10x. So yes, now now what uh, another key note uh, point we use is that uh, either like because uh, L is the center of this circle or like because of in center lemma we have LB equal to LI equal to LC, which uh, actually give us LD equal to 8x. And you can just see here like if you calculate uh, GD. This will be comes out to be 14x plus 2x, uh, which is actually GH plus HD. And this comes out to be 16x. So because like uh, GD is two times of ID and GID lie on like altitude of A, we get G lie on in circle. So like if you draw in circle, the, you can even calculate the radius of in circle is 8x actually, yes. So yes, so key point in this problem was to introduce the midpoint L. Ratio thing and calculation with L. So actually this ratio, we are ratio 23 to two, comes out to be so nice that G lie on that in circle. Yes. So I hope you find solution interesting. Yes. So thanks for watching.